All right, guys. I would have, I'm about to do a light setup today to add more lighting and better lighting to my setup. I've had these for a while now, and I'm finally getting around to do this new video for them to unbox them. I'm excited. Uh, my friend had these ones. Well, he has a lot of different lights, and these weren't too expensive. They were a good deal, so I decided to get them. Um, <clears throat> first, before I get to the light, we have the uh, SL series video light, and this is really dang cool by uh, Newer. It's an awesome, it's LEDs. It's a uh, 60 watts white version. And I think this watt is gonna just do awesome. This light is gonna be awesome. We'll get to this here in a minute. Then we have the Aperture uh, Dome uh, Mini 2. This is the softbox for it. It's gonna be awesome, I'm excited. We'll unlock this too. Then, and though I am a Lord of the Rings fan, but not just because of this, I do like the Manfrotto stuff. So I got the Manfrotto. So this should be awesome. So let's get started. We're gonna open, start with the Manfrotto first. This is gonna be the tripod for it. So let's open it up. Let's see here. Okay, and this, I got this from B&H. It was a really good deal. Manfrotto stuff is really expensive. Depending on what you get, obviously there are cheaper versions, but yeah, so I'm excited. Oh, here we go. Oh, there was, a, there was another box. Don't you just love when that happens? All right, here's the Pro Professional Lighting Support. So this is going to support all my professional lighting, so it's going to be pretty dang cool. Sorry about that, ringing upside down there for a minute. Oh, looks like I don't have to cut anything. Looks like we'll just, yeah, just open up here in the bottom. That'll be awesome. So let's see. There's really not much to this. That's why I wanted to do it here. Ooh, yep, that is a big boy. Look at how thick that is. Let's see here. Oh, let's like jam the table. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this flips over. Oh, that's nice. Tighten it in. Nice metal locket. Button here. What's the button for? Let's see. Maybe there's instructions. Maybe you should read the instructions. Even though my friend had this one. I didn't ask about everything. Let's see what the little button does. Alright. Alright guys, so apparently this button right here, so you can clip multiple of these stands together and this will lock them in place, and then you can click it and it will unlock the other stands. Doo -doo -doo. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Your basic other stands first, it goes up, down, so you can raise it and lock it. And these are nice, thick, really thick, uh, ripped uh, controls, really nice. And it's, Nice smooth air, so it doesn't have the slapping down. You can't like, can't stop it. It's air, so it'll stop until you push it down slowly. So that's nice. And then let's see, on the top here, you can take a little cap off and screw your mounts and your adapters on. So that is going to be really nice. But yeah, I needed this to be able to support this new light. And it looks like you can actually take this out. Maybe let me just see here. Yeah, you can. Oh, and there's a little one on top, so cool beans. So you can switch it out depending on what size head you need. If you need a smaller head to a bigger head, this just fits in there and just tightens in there. And boop, 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 boop. And it's locked in now. Perfect. And then this is obviously the next level that it can go. It looks like it goes really dang high. I will measure and I will put in the comments how high it is. So it should be right there, how tall it is, fully measured. And I'll measure this with a measuring tape. So get it up there and show you guys. But yeah, that's a really nice. Feels heavy duty. I mean, it is Manfrotto. So, I mean, it should last for a long, good time and many uses. So yeah, I'm excited with it. That is the uh, Manfrotto pod. And this is the um, 105 BAC model. So yeah, rocking and rolling. All right, next on. 
Next one I think we're gonna do is the SL video. I think I really wanna do that right now. The series to the light itself. So this is gonna be cool. The newer light. Oh, this is really nice. The tape's not too strong, so I think I can just do it with my hands. Forgot a knife. Let me go get a knife here really quick. One minute here. Got a knife. All right. Now I wanna find a case for this. If you guys know any cases for this or a good light case, please let me know. I wanna get one. Here's the power cord for it. A really heavy duty power cord. It looks like it's gonna be really dang long, to be honest. It looks like a standard uh, PC po uh, power supply power cord too. So if you have extra of those with the adapters where you can extend them and all that stuff. So, yep, that is really dang cool. Let's see how long this sucker is. I think this thing is. Oh yeah, that is definitely like 10 feet maybe, or more. definitely more than 10 feet, yeah. Like 12 or something. Man, that's long. That is good though. So that means it can go up on the tripod really high. So that'll be good. I will send an actual measurement of the cord and I will have it here for you guys. All right. Next. Oh, yeah. You can control this with the remote, so it does have a remote that comes with it, so you can adjust the lights and everything. That is awesome. I do like that a lot. That is really cool. Also, I wanted to mention, before I get this next stuff out, the light uh, remote does have the power, it has the channel, let's say it has the channel and the grip, oh, so you can preset the light brightness and everything, so up and down, on, off, and set, so you can keep it, well, that's pretty cool, so you can probably set it in the memory and then it will keep it that, so you turn on next time, it'll probably have a preset in there, that's pretty cool. Here's one of the little light, uh, the, oh gosh, the shield for the light. I'm not gonna be using that, I'm gonna put the other one on, or I might be using this too, I can see how it hooks up. So this is my first one of these, so, even though you look at some of these a couple times, when you actually get it, you kinda have to figure it out again. All right. Here's the light itself. Awesome, I think this comes off. Does it come off, or no, am I wrong? Let's see, is this protective cover, or what? Uh, click in, push, no, I don't want to break it, oh, this might help, there's a little button here on the side, where you can adjust, so if I put this down, and there it comes off, there it is, and let's see, yep, there is the actual one of the cell, this looks like it's a protector on it, so it doesn't get ruined, so when you're not using it, locks it in there, so that's pretty dang cool, I like that, has the, Loosen this up really quick. Ah. So here's the adjuster so you can mount it on the mount itself. And then the tightener so you can tighten it in the position that you want it. So yeah, this thing is awesome. And then another tilt so you can tilt it up and down and stuff like that. It's really dang cool. That is awesome. I like this. Feels heavy duty, nice. Has a handle on the back. It has a little screen on the back here. When you turn it on, it'll adjust the brightness and it'll show you the percentage that it's going up and everything, the lumens. On off button, uh, channel button again, and then the power button. That is awesome, that is really cool, I'm excited. So this is the newer SL60 watt, so this is the white version, so yeah, I don't think there's any other version, but yeah, this is it, this is awesome. And I'll show you guys all of that up together when it's all done. We got one more thing to unbox here. Let's do it. Next one that we guys got, we got the Aperture Light Dome Mini 2. This will be awesome. Let's open this up. Oh, let's see what we get inside here.
comes in a bag, first of all. That's nice. Oh, I love that. That's what I wish everything needs to come. I mean, this is just nice. Aperture on it, the name of it. All right, let's see what we got here. Ooh. Comes in all nice and accordion. That's really nice. So how does this go up? Okay, cool. And this once it's locked in, let's see, how do you lock it in? That is the question. Oh, there you go. Let's see. This, is, this can free move, that doesn't come out, okay. This probably goes onto the camera and then you spread it out and then I think you lock it. Let me just see here. This is my first time, so we'll get it on. I'll have to test it out to see how it goes on here. See if there's any instructions for it. Hopefully there is. Okay. See this little bag container in here. Maybe there's instructions or something. There is no instructions, but there's other filters for it. Yeah, there's the soft parts. So if you don't want the light too bright, you can, you know, box it up. And then here, whatever this is. Oh, uh, yeah, diffuser. Here's the diffuser for it. So that's pretty cool. Goes on the side here. There is Velcro all in this, so you can diffuse it. So that's really nice. I like that. And then what else we got here? Oh, here's the mount that probably helps it mount. I'm guessing. And this is depending on if this is for this light or not. for this so that'll be fun hey we're gonna come back when this is all mounted I gotta get this going and see how it works and then I'll show you guys how I did it all right guys all right guys here is the light totally done so what I had to do to get this working because I wasn't sure I was afraid to break it you literally these bars inside here you just pull them up yeah, that's why this whole thing has all these Velcro that goes around. So when you're setting it up, all you do is crank them up, crank them up, and they'll lock with this. That's all you got to do. And then once it's all locked up and in the way that it's supposed to be, you yeah, put on your Velcro, and it should be rocking and rolling. And they have different sizes. This is, remember, this is the mini dome front aperture. So, but yeah. It's gonna be awesome. So, I'm about to plug it in and we'll see what it's like. All right, guys, we got the power cord. It's in. It is literally in right now. We're about to do this. Here we go. Three, two, one. Make sure it's all the way low. Okay. Uh-oh, make sure. Oh, the power's off. <laughs> All right, so let's see, it's at 10% now. Let's turn it up. Ninety, 100% right there, guys. That's 100% brightness. Oh, wow. That's crazy. That is definitely crazy. Let's see what I look like on it now. Let's do a test. Okay, with the diffuser on and the softbox on, the A crate, I think this is what I'm gonna be using right now. I only have one light right now. You know, I ain't rich, so I can't just keep buying all this. I gotta justify it, but yeah. It looks way better already. I'm happy with it. And I think it's a great purchase to be honest with you. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. This is my new light you'll be using for filming to get better detail and quality and make my camera look even better. It's just, I'm excited for it. I'm excited about my adventure and I want you guys to come along with me. So hit that subscribe button so you know every time I put a new video up and hit that bell icon too, because it doesn't work unless they're in tangent. You gotta hit both of them. 
you guys like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't, you know what to do. But peace out and have a wonderful and a rock and rolling day.